Hello, my name is Tamir Swedan, Solution Architect at Pure. Today, we will demonstrate Flash Array integration with Veeam 11. We will focus on the setup of Veeam Shore backup functionality, which is part of Veeam Data Labs. Pure Flash Array being the shared storage infrastructure will provide reliable and consistent performance with multi-layered compression and deduplication capability built in. Added to that, Flash Array integration into Veeam Universal API, Veeam Backup and Replication is able to orchestrate hardware immutable snapshots, reducing backup workload impact on the hypervisors, as well as improving recovery point objectives. A typical Sure Backup use case is verifying the backup copy integrity beyond just a CRC checks. An isolated virtual environment is created from the backup copy of the production VMs with the ability to run custom scripts or even perform manual tests to ensure the environment is recoverable. Sure Backup can also be used as an on-demand sandbox environment for test and dev, and can even be used during ransomware recovery. In this demo, we will set up Sure Backup job to pull VMs from two different sources. Our demo environment consists of a basic VMware infrastructure with few VMs, ESXi hosts or shared storage from the High Performance Flash Array X. Here at the bottom right, the Veeam repository is located on the Flash Array C for fast backup and recovery. Pure Universal API plugin is installed so Veeam is aware of the shared storage infrastructure and will be able to utilize hardware snapshots for faster backups. Now let's transition to Veeam 11 interface and zoom in on Sure Backup. On Veeam Management Interface, navigate to Backup Infrastructure tab, then locate the Sure Backup section. There are three foundational prerequisites we need to have in place before taking advantage of Sure Backup. They are laid out for us on the right-hand side panel. We need a virtual lab, an application group, and a Sure Backup job created. Under the Virtual Lab section, I've already created one to save on time, but also our simplistic demo networking environment will not be appropriate for true production environments. We encourage you to look at the latest Veeam documentation and educational videos, as well as Veeam YouTube channel. But let's quickly look at the properties of this virtual lab and highlight a couple of the concepts. First, virtual lab setup involves creating the configuration for the proxy appliance which is provided by Veeam. That is why we need to, to specify the ESXi host. Second, when running VMs from Veeam repository inside of the isolated virtual network, changes to those VMs are kept on the NFS export. If you have high performance requirements, you can change that behavior by redirecting changes to a different data store. However, Due to the fact that this is an isolated network, vMotion is prohibited by design. Now let's head to the application group. An application group deals with dependencies, as in what VMs are needed inside of the virtual lab in order for the application to function properly. Domain controller or backend SQL VM are an example of that. Application group also deals with priority of which VM should start first inside of the virtual lab. This is important because you would want your infrastructure services to be available first before the VMs that depend on them are started. I've created one here as an example, so let's check its properties. Under the name field, we gave it a proper name. Next, we get to add the VMs. We would have to choose where we're pulling this group of VMs, from backup, from replica, or from storage snapshots. Bear in mind, Sure Backup will use instant recovery. If we choose from backup, the VMs will be pulled from the deduped and compressed backup copy on Veeam repository. Generally speaking, this is considered the slowest method. However, since the Veeam repository is on the Flash Array C, which is designed for backup workload, it should not be an issue. On the other hand, if we choose from storage snapshots option, this is going to be the fastest method as instant recovery will pull the VMs from the flash array snapshots. To demonstrate, let's pretend that we need high performance for our critical VMs. The domain controller and the backend SQL server both are pulled from the store snapshots. On the other hand, our application VMs do not need high performance 
Therefore, they are pulled from backup, in other words, the VM repository. Remember, VMs will start in the order they appear on this list. So we have a logical sequence of which VM should boot up first. Optionally, VM provides a set of standard roles that can be tested after the virtual lab is created. Selecting a VM, then clicking on the edit button will provide the ability to choose the role of the selected VM. If we had custom scripts to test the application, they can be added under test scripts tab, along with the credentials tab to log in and run the tests. Now we're ready to create the Sure Backup job and also run it. Clicking on the Home tab, you will see the Sure Backup icon under Jobs. As before, I've created one already, so we'll right-click to edit it. Select the appropriate virtual lab, then the appropriate application group. If we want to keep VMs running after verification is complete, like in the case of on-demand sandbox, we can check the box on the bottom to keep the VMs running. Next, on the linked job screen, we can add to this application group one or more backup jobs to run as part of this sure backup job. It's important to mention though, VMs inside the linked backup job will not stay running. They will shut down as soon as a VM verification and any test scripts are completed. On the settings tab, we get additional options like virus scan, which is useful during ransomware recovery use cases. Next, on the Schedule tab, we can schedule this Sure Backup job to run automatically. This is useful if we want to periodically run verification checks. However, for purposes like on-demand sandbox, the environment is refreshed only when needed. In this case, Sure Backup job should not be scheduled. Finally, we will check on the box at the bottom to run the job after we click Finish. Watching the Sure Backup job, you can see the hypothetical domain controller and SQL VMs starting first, followed by all other VMs. vCenter also reflects the virtual lab environment activities. Now all VMs are running, VM's basic checks are complete. Since we have enabled the option to keep VMs running, we can stop the running Sure Backup job uh, by clicking on the Stop Session button on the bottom. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching.